Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show how easy it is to replace all the components on this frame with no tools. Let's just dive right in. So in this, uh, in this, let's f for instance this as uh, you've got a, a repair warranty claim or um, you've got, let's say it's a broken hub um, and you want to, you want to get, you don't want us to, you don't want to send this back to us for us to repair. You just want the part as quickly as possible and you can do the repair yourself. Um, so you would get this entire hub assembly uh, with the, you know, the blind fastener, you know, already attached. This is what it would come with ready to ready to install. Now the first thing we're going to do is we have to remove the old uh, hub, which is very simple. And we want to do this in a, in a sequential steps so that you don't inadvertently reassemble it in with the wrong segments in the wrong order. Um, so we want to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip this over like so. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the the back foot off of <clears throat> it's actually the forward the forward front foot um, but look so it's going to uh, the the keeper that's in here is going to want to kind of stay there so I'm gonna I'm just gonna pinch the shock cord so that when I go pulling on this it's not gonna just go flying off all right so that that was pretty simple and I kept everything together now um, I'm just gonna see that keeper. That keeper just goes just like that, goes onto the shock cord at the bottom. I'm gonna I'm gonna maintain these pieces where I know that I'm not gonna get them mixed up. Um, the foot is gonna go on a dome shaped uh, shock cord keeper. So let's just set that there. If I just let this go, the the whole thing's gonna shoot off of there. I don't want to do that, right? So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hold on to the other end, and I'm gonna, um, you know, let this go, and hopefully it all stays together, right? You see how that sort of wanted to shoot off of there? All right. So now I'm gonna just take that off. Um, you do at this point have to remove the knot that's in at the bottom. It's not that hard. Not, <laughs> not that hard to remove the knot. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull the whole assembly off of here. And I'm going to keep them together so that I know what order they're going to go back in. Now, the reason why I'm taking it off the, um, what do you call it, the, from this direction first is that if I, if I did it from the top side, there's actually another knot in here, so that you'd actually have to disassemble two knots for it to pass through the hole in the hub. So I don't want to have to disassemble two, two knots, I just want to disassemble one. And it keeps me in an order that um, allows me to, like I've got, the, I've got the front foot off of this one, well I'm going to then rotate this here. I'm going to leave the foot on the back so that I know that you know, I don't get them mixed up. And now I'm just going to remove the, again, the shock cord keeper. I, I, all I did there was I just put my sort of fingernail in there and just, you know, pulled it out. It wasn't that hard at all. Again, I'm not, I don't want to let this thing shoot off of here. Of course, with the knot on it, 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 it will keep it there. And then I'm going to leave this one sort of over here off to the side. Again, I'm going to just take this, this knot out uh, here. And, and then it allows me to pass it through the hub just like that. And I'm going to keep those together. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to then remove this hub, this hub se segment from the lateral. And you'll see here that there is a keeper, much like the one in the top of this um, segment. I'm going to pull out just like I'm breaking it down normally. I'm going to stretch it out as far as I can. I'm going to pinch it and then I'm going to give it some slack and that little guy is going to come right out of there. 
all right or it allows me to at least grab onto it all right it's just like the the other keepers this one is a flat head same deal that just slips right on there and keeps the cord okay um, I don't want the whole thing sort of shooting up apart, so I'll hold it and then I'm going to let it go. And then look at that. There's let's call this the bad hub, right? Now I'm going to take the good hub that isn't broken or defective or whatever, and I'm going to set the bad hub away. And I'm going to take the good hub and start assembling it in the reverse order that I took it apart. I'll show you uh, that you can actually do it with no nothing. You can, you know, run. See, you've got enough length here that it will stick out the other end. Um, but it, it's tricky. It, it's not as easy as uh, you know, really just kind of doing it with the. See there, look. It it just came out the other end. I I didn't need to. I don't need to use a tool at all. I can just it'll just run right through it's got a you know so field repair zero 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 tools and then there there's the new hub as long as this fastener right here is facing up it will not block via gravity it will not block the passage of this shock cord through it if I if I turn this then the fastener is going to be sort of in the way it's a little bit harder to you see there it blocks it make sure that the the uh, fastener here is facing up and there's a little path underneath it that it can that can pass through easily and and that's a little trick there all right so now that we've got that I'll get my hands out of the way I'm just gonna pinch it here and we'll use the take the flathead the flathead keeper it's got a little you know it's got a little groove in it the flathead keeper put the knot on it and there we go it's on Woohoo! now we got this segment here that has a foot on it there's a uh, was a the quarter inch hole diameter that that's passes from the lower back foot to the front upper uh, leg and that shot cord because it already had a knot in it I'm gonna try to straighten it out a little bit so you can redirect it and it's not gonna try to curl up so let's just get a little bit of that uh, memory out of it and now it's a little bit straighter but you're gonna pass this back foot from this lower hub here or lower hub uh, or port call it a port and then just right up through look at that haha -ha. all right now once once that's there go ahead and put it put a knot in it in the shot cord all right ta-da all right and then I'm gonna take this is 11 inch section here this is a 10 and a half with the foot on it so this is 11 inch section arm I'm gonna go ahead and and run it through with a knot on and you can do it a couple ways for the camera it's hard for me to normally i would just uh take this and sort of run it up sort of like pinching look here so i'm gonna pinch with this pinch here pull pinch let it slide up same thing pinch with my left hand pull up as much as I can and pinch it in place and then it there's all that you need right there that's plenty you need to take some of the slack off now I got the knot uh, available and I'll take the dome shaped shot cord keeper the dome and I'm gonna put it over the knot and let it return home once you've gotten to this sequence I'm gonna take this entire segment here the two these are both 11 and a half inch segments one has the you know what are we called the insert in it that's the upper one and I'm going to go ahead and 
do the same thing. I'm going to take some of this memory out of the shock cord and then I'm going to run it from the top down. There is a hole that you can really just kind of fish it through. You can see it and there you go. All right, go ahead and flip it over and get it reoriented so that we can put the back, well, the front leg back on. The front leg is a, is a 10 inch segment. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here where I, I go ahead and I tie the knot so nothing comes, so it doesn't pass back through the hub assembly. With the knot on here, it will not pass back through the hub assembly. When you tie these knots, you want a short tail on the knot as possible. Or <clears throat> when you put the keeper on, if the tail is too long, then it'll want to stick out of the, at the end of the tube and it can prevent the uh, keeper from seating properly. So you want a, a short tail, um, that's, that's like an eighth of an inch. I mean, you want it long enough so that it doesn't pull out, you know, but you know, definitely you want a little tail on there, not this giant tail. All right, go ahead and put it on there. And then, well, no, I'm not putting it on there. Sorry, that's stupid. Uh, I'm just showing you that you want a, t a tail on here. <clears throat> Let's put the tube on first and then we'll put the <laughs> keeper on. Same thing here, we'll check it out. I can do this one handed, I guess, is, well, you really need to, but go ahead and pinch here and pull. Now look, because there's so much, this is also another benefit of doing it in this order, because there's so much shock cord in here, it's really easy because there's so much there that it elongates easier. I, I've got tons of elongation here that I can you know, really get this to come out the end without a whole lot of effort. Look, if it was a shorter, it's shorter the shorter the segment is, it, the harder it is to, to sort of get it to, to pull out, elongate, and come out the other end. So now I've got it, it's real simple. Stick it on here, boom, look at that. Now it's ready. Now I just put my foot on, back on. Just presses right on and we're ready to rock and roll. Ready to go. We are ready to go now back to the field.